Happy Friday, Chargers. On today's show, we'll be talking about choir, the community service fair, and the haunted house. I'm Gabby Powers. And I'm Melissa Argenbright. And, and you're, you're watching, watching DP, DP News. News. Today is the last day for the Charger Gear blowout sale at lunch outside of the athletics office. There will be items on sale for $5, $10, and $20. The Haunted House is looking for a few items. They're looking for a ping pong table or fuzz table, a pool table, or an electric or gas power chainsaw with a safety protector. The blade will not be exposed. Visit Mr. Sayer in the EPAC if you have any of these items that you are willing to let them borrow. The Scholarship Foundation opens tomorrow, October 1st. The FAFSA application also opens tomorrow. Meet with a program advisor October 11th in the Career Center to receive help filling these out. The sign-up sheet is available in the counseling office with Ms. Polito. Choir is in need of a beatboxer. If anyone is interested in sharing their rhythmic skills, they would love to meet with you. Please visit Ms. C in P126. The open house at Impact Hub is happening on State Street tomorrow. There are activities for grown-ups and students around the Internet of Things or eye to eye, eye to T, <laughs> including drones, virtual reality, and robotics. Visit Impact Hub SB's website to find out more information. The Career Center, along with Partners in Education, will be hosting the Fall Community Service Fair in the Quad outside of the cafeteria. Nonprofits from all over SB have been invited to come and share the opportunities available at their organizations with DP students. This will take place during lunchtime. The Ken Burns Lecture will take place on Sunday at 12 p.m. at the Granada Theater. UCSB Arts and Lectures Outreach has generously donated a limited number of tickets to this event, and if you are interested in, the, in attending, visit Ms. Irwin in the Activities Office. The next opportunity to have your photo taken, if you have not done so already, is next Wednesday, October 5th in the cafeteria from 7.30 to 1.30 p.m. Now a video for, for, uh, on to open a mic night. Hi, I'm Emma Schott. And I'm Katie Vinyl. And, and we, we want, want you to come, come to open, open mic, mic night. Tonight in the EPAC in the classroom. At 7 p.m. Be there. <laughs> okay. That's it for us Chargers. Now over to Caleb with the sports report. Good morning, Chargers. Girls Tennis had a match against San Marcos on Tuesday and lost a close one 10-8. A bright spot for the Chargers was the doubles play of Hannah Killenmacher and Rose Hillenbrandt as the duo swept their sets. Girls Volleyball had a big win on Tuesday against Buena. The Minichisters led the way as they anchored both serving and defense. Senior Danica had five digs and four aces, and sophomore Allison had three aces and six digs of her own. On Thursday, the girls lost 3-1 to one to San Marcos. Danica led DP with kills of 14. The girls are now 2-3 and three in league. Girls golf lost on Tuesday to San Marcos, ending the historic run of perfection in league dating back to the 1999 season. The girls bounced right back and took on Rio Mesa Thursday, coming away with a 206-260 to 260 win. Bella Vinna and Julia Forrester led the charges as they both shot in the 30s. Boys water polo lost their league opener to Santa Barbara 14-10. Freshman Ethan Parrish tied for a team high with four goals, and junior Madison Montag added one score. Dust Public senior Kiara Pickett is going to be on TV soon as she represents our country at the 2016 FIFA U-17 Women's World Cup. So be sure to tune in and catch a fellow Charger doing big things on a national stage. You know that Friday Night Lights is tonight, so football travels to Wainimi to take on the undefeated Vikings. Wish our boys luck as they travel to Wainimi. I'm Caleb and we are DP. Now over to Sky and Lindsay with your weather and surf report. Hey 
Hey DP, what's up? The Sky, because I'm Sky with your weather report. And I'm Lindsay with your serve report and joke of the day. Hey Sky, why does it take so long to eat a clock? I don't know, why does it take so long to eat a clock? It's really time consuming. <laughs> Good uh, one, Lindsay. Today's temperatures will reach a high of 78 degrees and a low of 56 degrees with 96% humidity, along with three mile per hour winds. Tomorrow, we'll start to cool down with a high of 78 degrees and a low of 55 degrees with the 50% humidity. That means that whether you're wearing shorts or pants tomorrow, you should be perfectly comfortable. <laughs> this weekend, the surge will reach its highest in the afternoon, both Saturday and Sunday, with a five-foot swell. So go and dive under those waves this weekend and shred the gnar, my friends. That's all we, we have for you today, DP. Have, have an excellent, excellent day. day.